What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 94 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. This episode is going to be a special single monitor only edition, just to give you guys some ideas and inspirations for your setup. As always, I'll have all the links to the products you see in the description down below so you can check it out. But we'll start off episode 94. First up, starting off strong is Wayne with this very clean and colorful single monitor setup that does really good things the way it's laid out and use of RGB lights throughout the setup. With the lamp off to the side and a shirt behind the desk and the monitor really makes it pop. Checking out his gear, that monitor is the AOC Agon AG27 1GQ. It is 1440p at 165 hertz and it comes in at a really great price point. Moving on down to his peripherals, that keyboard is Logitech G910 Spectrum RGB with a Logitech G502 mouse sitting on a Logitech G240 mouse pad. Take note that his keyboard's RGB lights are matching the orange and blue setup theme too. Checking out the rest of his gear, his headphones are the Bear Dynamic Custom 1 Pro in white sitting on a banana stand, a great way to save money, and those speakers are always so cool when I see them the Edifier Prisma Encore. Now we're going to check out that custom water-cooled PC, and this looks so great on the side of his desk. Inside the Corsair 400C case is an Intel i7 6700K CPU with a Galax Hall of Fame GTX 1070 inside. Gotta love the white hardware. That's along with 16 gigs of ballistics RAM on an Asus Sabertooth Z170S motherboard and a Kingston 250GB SSD. But with the motherboard, the graphics card, the water cooling, and the braided cables all fits in really nicely to that white PC. And then a quick look underneath his desk, the IKEA Signum there, we're seeing these so often, they're just gonna help keep all the cables up off the ground. So pretty solid job on the cable management at least nothing is getting in the way but all together i really like this setup you can see it's kind of in like maybe like a basement or a living room kind of setting off to the side you can see the entertainment setup off on the right but a really nice gaming setup i love the color choice here on the white desk and the white hardware with the pc looks great with the choice of rgb lighting the orange and blue always adds a nice pop and visual flair to a setup that is white and clean like this so all together man a really nice job now we have one of my favorite DIY setups here because this one was completely revamped and that nice wooden grain texture you see is all on like a particle board to make this really nice looking setup. It looks like he built this in like a home office and you can't help but notice that badass PC mounted above his monitor. So let's check it all out. First off, that is a Z-Line Design mobile workstation desk. You can get them for a pretty good price on Amazon. But into his gear, that is the LG 27 UD 68W monitor mounted very nicely and of course when the lights are off this setup shines very brightly blue as for his gear he has the audio technica m50x headphones on a satechi headphone stand you can see his cell phone which is the pixel xl both nicely right by his side and into his main peripherals he has the logitech g602 mouse with a corsair k65 keyboard on an extended black and blue mouse pad to fit into that color theme now we got to check out this mounted pc because this thing is just crazy it's so badass looking it is the Thermaltake core p3 case here that he has up top and inside that is an i7 6850k cpu with an asus x99 strix motherboard 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and two GTX 1080s, the Founder Editions. You gotta love these, but just check all the detail that was put into this, matching a lot of the components and some of the custom painted hardware here to that black and blue theme. The graphics card bridge, the hard drive, the cables, you got some uh, carbon fiber highlighting on the motherboard. You could tell a lot of hard work and passion was put into this. And a 10 out of 10 for cable management here. There is not a cable in sight on the ground, mainly because he has all the cables routed behind behind that wooden particle board there which makes it all spotless. And the last note about this setup, I love the shelves over here, kind of showcasing some extra or unused hardware, really adds to that whole gaming setup look here that he has in this office. But I just really, really like this one. Really hard not to with the amount of detail that went into that build in creating this wooden theme with that particle board for the backdrop for the setup. 10 out of 10, IGN. Next is another setup that does the IKEA Alex and Lindman desk setup justice here. And look how just clean and minimal this is. It's just it's just sterile. 
and I really like the fact this is right next to a window, helps add a lot of natural light shining on it. As for his main display here, that is the Asus ROG PG348 Q gaming monitor, a top of the line choice mounted on an Ergotech Freedom Arm. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how organized this desk setup is. Nothing is out of line. It's all nicely in place. And I also love how literally everything is black and white. So speaking of which, we'll check out those peripherals. The mouse is Logitech MX Master Wireless in that nice white sandstone color. And for the keyboard, that is the Drevo Caliber 71 key wireless RGB keyboard. Definitely fits in 100% with this setup. And I just reviewed a very similar keyboard to this, the Ann Pro. So definitely check that out. If you want a really minimal, colorful, wireless mechanical keyboard, these two are the way to go. And this one just fits in so well with this setup. Into his audio game, of course, his headset is the Corsair Void Wireless RGB in white, and his desktop speakers are the Audio Engine A2 Plus in, you guessed it, purple. No, JK White. And plus one for the little group figure there. Now, so far, I've loved everything about this setup, but the one area where it definitely lacks is in the PC category because he has it in his desk or in the Alex drawers. They're kind of hollowed out and it just sits underneath there. And that's really not good for the temperatures at all. But that is the NZXT Noctis case. Inside is an i7 6700K CPU with an MSI 980Ti. But I mean, you gotta get that out of there, man. Put the thing on display. Yeah, it might not fit in with your color setup, but it's gonna die on you sooner or later. But altogether, minus the whole PC debacle, I think it's a really nice and clean setup. I love how organized it is. And you took the white and black game to the next level, matching everything, including your peripherals. Now we got Kazi hitting us here with this Matrix theme setup. Obviously all black and green, staying true to that kind of Razor theme as well. You know, a lot of times I'll have a black and green setup come across to submissions and it's just an eyesore, but this is one that does it very tastefully. So checking out his display, going with the ultra wide here, an Asus PB298 q a 29 inch, a really great sweet spot if you don't like that 27 inch and don't want a 32. I mean, that's just basic math at this point. But you guys get what I'm saying. Into his peripherals, his keyboard is the Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2016 keyboard. Got those green lights flashing strong and the Logitech G402 mouse to go along with it. As for audio, he's rocking the Mackie CR4 reference speakers, and they're great because just by default, they're black and green, so they fit in just fine. And behind that, as you can see, is his PC, showcasing that special edition NZXT H440 Razer case. And inside, as you'd expect, everything is gonna be green, is the Intel Core i7-7700 CPU with an Asus H270F motherboard, got a Zotac GTX 1080 amp GPU, with 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM to make it glow green with some BitPhoenix RGB cables and some BitPhoenix green LED fans. But altogether, Kazi, if you were going for that Matrix theme, you definitely accomplished it. Not only by setting your wallpaper to that Matrix look, but the green hardware and green LED lights everywhere really do your theme justice. And last but definitely not least, following up a Razorish theme is a strictly Asus theme setup. And I've seen these before, but this one is 110% dedicated. I mean, look at that lamp. Plus, it's got an awesome water cooled PC. Check out the display. It is a 4K Samsung 28 UE 590. Shockingly, this is the only thing not Asus about the setup, but that's okay. It's 4K, so it's going to be just fine for him for gaming. But as for all those peripherals, he has the Asus Strix Impact Mouse along with the Asus Strix Tic Tac Pro keyboard, can't make that name up, along with the Asus ROG Sheath Mouse Pad with the Asus Trifecta for his peripherals. Not only that, of course you know his headset is the Asus Strix Wireless 7.1 headset as well. Duh! With all these Asus ROG logos, I wonder if he ever feels like he's being watched. Now, into that water-cooled PC, this one is really great. It is a modified Corsair Carbide Air 240 case, go along with a black and red color theme. Inside is an i5-6500 CPU on an Asus Z270G Strix motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, and a GTX 1060 Strix, of course some Asus overclocked graphics card. But I love that nice red color he went with for the cooling here, again matching a lot of the hardware inside to a red and black theme. Theme, a really nice water-cooled build. So if you ever loved a company or appreciated them so much you wanted to dedicate an entire setup to them, this is what it would look like. A really great job to that dedication, may I add. And I know I already made the joke, but I would just feel like I was being watched 24-7. 
but Asus FTW, this guy loves it. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 94 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for all the products you saw, as well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. And lastly, in the description is the link to the app Nice, where you can vote for your favorite setup and be entered to win an Amazon gift card for free. It's all you have to do is just vote for your favorite setup and you can be entered to win. We do it each and every week, so definitely check the link for that in the description down below. If you like this episode, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.